Welcome back to the class, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about how to accomplish one of the conquest feats super quickly. Like I did the math, and I'm pretty sure that you can do this in two days if you have everything set up correctly. So that being said, what are we looking at tackling here today? We're looking at tackling this really dumb feat right here that requires 40 battles with resistance. And the reason why I think this video is important and why what I'm coming across today is helpful is because there are so many resistance feats all the way through this like in sector five you need to have get inspired a bunch of times and if you don't have ray like myself that's really hard because that means you have to end up using the jtr team with bros i believe resistance need kills in sector four i think they need to just have the full team in sector one so they're all throughout this and again if you don't have ray it really kind of limits what you can do because right now i don't know if you guys saw it before but i'm also working on jtr and scav ray so what i've come across is a way with the data disc i have to be able to get this completed with 1% stamina. What does 1% stamina let you do? That means that you can go in, so we're gonna be doing a 12 here just because um, that's where they're at. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna win it. We're not gonna get three stars. We're gonna get, you know, whatever um, materials we have for our datacrons. And then I just have to wait, I think it's like 10 minutes or something like that for them to get back to 1% and they can go in and do it again. And I can literally do that all day long. So if we're doing the normal, and this might not be normal for everyone, but if we're doing the normal three refreshes per day, you can knock this out in two days. So you don't have to worry about like a bunch of stuff. And the reason I'll go, I'll show my exact disc later, but the exact reason why this works is because we had voluntary Vanguard, that's what it's called, on Finn. And because he's a res resistance leader, when he dies, both Han and Chewbacca get two turns. So basically what that means now is I have a shot, not just with Han, but with, with Chewbacca, to get an AoE with debuffs out on every single enemy, and that is just going to end them. Uh, you'll see that we didn't land the ability block on all of them, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to get another turn here. They're going to go right down. We're going to go after this one here because they have the most health so that we can take them out too. And now they're all just going to fall over with nothing nothing to show for now like i said i've been doing i even did it earlier too with one percent so as long as you're managing your energy correctly one percent stamina will work so i said i was gonna show the data disc so that we have a good idea of what is going on there uh, so i don't know if you need all these exactly but what you have to absolutely have is voluntary vanguard if you don't have this you're not gonna have finn marked and he's not gonna die and you're not gonna be able to get those two bonus turns because i think if, if we didn't have, actually they weren't bonus turns, but we didn't have the turn meter from Finn dying, I'm pretty certain the Tuscans would have taken something from like 35 to 9,000 turns before we actually go and we would have just died. Or maybe not, maybe uh, Veteran Han or BB-8 would have countered or something like that. But I think that is the most important thing to make this consistent. After that, you need Volatile Accelerator. This, really the turn meter doesn't matter, but what you really need here is the damage over time for two turns uh, whenever they take damage. And then, I mean, you just stack as many Amplify Agony as you can. I don't really think you need two blue and one green. I think that team really takes care of itself. Maybe with one blue and two greens or just two blues or some assortment like that the team like i said it just as you guys also saw it just completely fell apart on us as far as the exact comp goes i don't think it needs to be that strictly what we were working with and i think it's really kind of important that it wasn't that as well because both bb8 as well as r2 i had to use them for the light side droid feet in sector four because i don't have sortie built up so this is like i said i think this can be pretty versatile and i did test it out earlier to see how it would go but you can even use really weak resistance characters like resistance pilot or resistance trooper and you don't want to go too high here because if you bring in a really tanky character you risk taking the voluntary vanguard off of finn because that only goes to the strongest character luckily finn is a tank so he is pretty chonky as far as his stats go so you don't like i didn't have to move around you can probably see from the blue mods on him i didn't have to move around mods to be able to make finn work uh, so it was pretty convenient especially because Right now, both JTR and Scavray are having to be used to my Kylo team to be able to knock out the Raylo feet. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you can master this kind of 1% stamina thing, do it as long as they're built up to that point with 20 energy. I'm pretty darn sure you can knock this out in two days. Uh, so really short video today, guys. I uh, hope this is helpful. Let me know what you guys think in the comments or maybe even talk about some other feats that people are knocking out with 1% stamina that can really help us catch up when CG specifically puts so many overlapping feats in one conquest. But that is going to be it for today. So as always, remember to like and subscribe. 
and stay awesome.